Writing for television requires the writers to think in terms of audio visuals. Television writers have to keep in mind their digitally active and geographically scattered target audience while writing for audio visuals. Television in the cosmopolitan cities as well as in the rural areas is driven by the game of television rating points known as TRP. Even the news is driven by the TRPs. Therefore, television programming is a profit making business or an industry. This module introduces students to the basics of television writing, the vocabulary used by television writers, the roles and responsibilities of a television writer. Learning in this module will encompass the elementary knowledge of various television programming formats like television news, television drama and advertisements on television. The subject expert for today is Professor F.B. Khan. He is a renowned photographer and media expert currently teaching at AJK MCRC Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. And I am Sakshi Mandwal. Basics of writing for television. Crawl refers to the superimposition of the text at the bottom of the screen. It is used in television news, wherein textual headlines and phrase breaking news crawls down the visuals to add emphasis and explanation to the visuals of the new story. Freeze frame is when a shot becomes a still and the motion stops for 5 to 10 seconds. This is to add the element of shock and melodrama on television. Screenplay refers to the conceptualization and outline of the story with certain directions for scenes and instructions for acting out the scenes. Please note Screenplay writing is different from dialogue writing. Once the screenplay is written, dialogues are written accordingly. Slug is written at the beginning of every scene. It includes writing the setting, interior or exterior, specific location and time of the day in capital letters. It is also known as the master scene heading. For example, INT Ramesh's living room, night. This slug tells us that the scene is set in the interiors, Ramesh's living room to be specific and it is night time. Spec script is the short form of speculative screenplay. A spec script is written by individual screenwriters and then sent to production houses for acceptance to make them into a television drama or a motion picture. Spec scripts are mostly not funded by an outside agency. Teaser is the audiovisual introductory highlight of a television drama that is played as an advertisement on the television channel. Production house invests in broadcasting teasers of their upcoming dramas on the channels. Pilot episode refers to the test run wherein one or two episodes are used to sell the show to a television network. It is to see if the drama will be successful one on the television channel or not. The following section is divided into three subsections. First, writing for television news. Second, writing for television drama. Third, writing for television advertisements. Let's discuss about each of them in detail. First, writing for television news. Indian television news has grown since 1980s when there was a one state owned channel, Doordarshan, which used to broadcast half hour news in the morning and evening. Today, there are dozens of private television news channels and there are more coming up. So it is not a cottage industry anymore. News has become a business for profit making and news channels have to make the content very juicy and newsy to sustain the audience's attention for a longer duration of time. Television news scripts have to be concise and tight, written in a very simple, colloquial and interesting language. This is because television news is consumed by all sections of the society, from the rickshaw puller to the CEO of a company. Format for television news script Serial number, visuals, audio, commentary or voiceover, sound effects, 
एस एफ एक्स गाइडलाइंस फॉर राइटिंग टेलीविजन न्यूज फर्स्ट राइट स्टोरीज ऑफ ह्यूमन इंटरेस्ट स्टोरीज दैट क्रिएट अ बिग और स्मॉल इम्पैक्ट on viewers lives always remember the news stories are written for the audience so the audience has to be in consideration at each step of news writing television news is written in inverted pyramid structure it places the most important aspects first followed by less important aspects and the least important aspects of the story the most engaging element in the news story called lead or hook is written in the beginning followed by the news story body and a definite end second the first three lines should show and announce to the viewers that what is the news all about five w's and one h what where when whom which and how then the background or the context of the story should be mentioned with maximum use of visuals and commentary running parallel in the background wrap up the story with additional information interviews or leave them open ended for viewer speculation to know more later third write small phrases of news to be run on ticker below and write for the visuals to support the textual context short crisp concise and powerful sentences should be used for writing news headlines which creates a strong impact avoid long sentences that use complicated or jargonized terms If you are using any difficult phrases make sure to show them as visuals typed on screen for viewers to get the clear understanding fourth write the news in active voice avoid writing television news in passive voice for example the robber entered the house and stole jewels active voice the jewels were robbed by the robber who entered the house passive voice fifth write the news script in present tense This is because news has to convey a sense of freshness something that has recently occurred therefore avoid writing in past or future tense sixth sentences for news are written in the format subject verb object to make the listener understand who did what when to whom how and with what effects seventh insert a lot of action verbs in the television news script to indicate the occurrence of events you cannot change the subject or object but verb can create impact on your sentences eighth the news grammar rules of television involve double spacing and using a readable font type and font size of at least 12 points ninth reread the written news script loudly to be able to deliver the content clearly Check the script for the basic grammar rules, spelling mistakes and absence of punctuation, all of which can affect the news speech. 10th, words that sound similar but have different meanings should be avoided. For example, sight, sight, sight. 11th, use props and audio visual toolkit including graphs, bar charts, etc. to explain different phenomena with ease. 12th, double check the facts and figures. Cite references to the sources of information. Thirteenth, add interviews, vox pop, and video bites of people involved with the stories to drive the news forward. Second, television drama, also known as soap opera, is one of the most popular genres of entertainment. Writing for television fiction is very hectic job as it requires one episode to be written every day and is simultaneously shot. Television drama writers have to be involved with the technical teams and actors to make them understand the gist of the story, the character sketches, the needs of setting locations, deciding dresses and makeup as per the demands of the script. Writing for television drama involves the following steps. First, brainstorming sessions are conducted in the production house wherein the creative writing team collectively thinks of different and original not replicated ideas and their feasibility in terms of the given budget time and manpower ultimately that idea is selected which may give highest returns on investment second researching audiences surveys are conducted by the research and development team of the production house to understand the segmented target audiences taste and updated preferences The survey results are used by the creative writing team to zero down the most preferred idea that may click with the mass audience for which the drama is to be broadcast. In the digitized and globalized world, television audience is geographically scattered and every episode is available on the web. So, television writers need to write for a very diverse audience. Third, 
developing idea into concept. The creative writing team develops the selected idea into a concept which is the outline of the play, deciding the theme, goal, objectives and target achievements throughout the play or drama. A four quadrant chart with the hopes, desires, expectations and target achievements is to be prepared by the research and creative teams. Fourth, writing a storyline and a plot. A storyline, story plot is the blueprint or the pathway that drives the story. It gives the basic idea about the story on paper. Fifth, developing the character sketches is one of the primary responsibilities of the creative writing team. What are the names, caste, religion, social, economic background of the characters? How a character will appear, behave, think, feel, act and what will be the character wearing? Dresses and makeup is decided. There are two protagonists, main lead, male and female characters, and antagonists who oppose the protagonists. Experimentation with hybrid categories of characters is very common these days. Researchers in India have updated a new category of characters called antagonists, which are a mix of protagonists and antagonists. It often happens that camera eye follows the protagonist to show the story from his or her perspective. Creative writers have to intervene in deciding whose perspective is to be kept in view while shooting the drama. Characters have to be built up as the story progresses from one level to the next. Every character has to undergo a progression and the journey of each character should go on through your writing. Sixth, writing about the locations of the story. The creative team decides the storyline and the nature of characters as per which the set designers beautify the indoor and outdoor sets, limited by the budget of the project. The set can have motives of color, textures, decor items and things to complement the need of the story and to support the characters. It's about time. We start sketching location as a separate character rather than as a mere prop in the story. Seventh, expanding the story into episodes. The job of a writer is to expand the story into multiple episodes and infusing life in every character. Build the story into a progression of interesting events unfolding each day with scope of some commercial breaks. Keep the element of suspense alive till the end of each episode. It is seen in most of the dramas that the life of characters is flawed and is not perfect till the end. The hero and heroine fall in love but never meet until the go through hard tests and trials of life. Eighth, writing the turning points is the most critical element in writing television dramas. It just hooks up the viewer to the television sets. They want to know what will happen next. The turning points should not go beyond the limits of human imagination like reincarnation or a person never dying even after the age of 150 years. Turning points should be realistic, meaningful and appealing. Guidelines for television drama writing. First, formatting. All the television drama scripts are written in standard font types like Times Roman or Arial in 12-point font size. Second, slug line. Always begin the drama episode with a slug line. Slug line gives the basic information of the scene, specific location, interior or exterior, time of the day, day or night, and the type of shots to be used in the scene, long shot, mid shot, or establishing shot. Third, Page count for television strips is to be strictly adhered to. If you are writing a teaser, two to three pages are to be written. If you are writing a one hour long episode, 45 to 60 pages are to be written with clearly and boldly defined scenes and shots. Clearly write the scene number in the script and starting and ending of the scene should be highlighted. Fourth, screenplay refers to the script which has scene directions and acting instructions. One page is equal to one minute of screen time. Fifth, dialogues are written in synchronization with the scene and according to the situation and character's sensibilities. For instance, if a character is very patient as a person since the beginning, his or her reaction to a given situation will be very different from an impatient person who is in the same situation. Sixth is the pilot episode. Also known as television pilot refers to the test run wherein one or two episodes are used to sell the show to a television network. It is to see if the drama will be a successful one on the television channel or not. Third, writing for television advertisements. According to research, it takes two weeks of digital exposure to achieve one day of television broadcast. Google, Facebook and Netflix spend 60% of their own marketing budgets on television advertisements. 
it has been observed that a decrease in TB and expenditure of companies has resulted in decrease in their sales. These results establish the fact that television continues to be the most effective mass medium for advertising in India. Below are some guidelines for writing a good ad copy for television broadcast. Guidelines for writing a television advertisement copy. First, understand your purpose. To write an effective ad copy, it is very important to know your purpose of advertising. Revise your company's meeting minutes about the new advertisement plan. How does the team want the ad to look? Second, know your product thoroughly. Research about your previous products, performances, achievements, gap of improvement about the various other brands competing with you. Then research about the new product. Look for similar products and collectively brainstorm with the creative team. What will be the USP, unique selling point of the new product or service? What will be the feature of the product? How is it going to benefit the customer? Golden rule number one, turn product features into benefits while writing the ad copy. Golden rule number two, create desire in the target audience via ad to own the new product. Golden rule number three, under commit and deliver more in terms of writing the content. Third, understand your target audience. Clearly define your target audience. Who are those people who you are advertising for? Dissect or segment your target audience into smaller groups based on demographic variables, age groups, gender groups, income groups, location groups, and psychographic variables, education, occupation, and cultural social barriers to communication. It is called knowing your audience intensively to know what are their needs and wants and how this new advertisement can instigate a desire in them. Fourth, write an engaging audiovisual story. You have 30 to 60 seconds to tell a very interesting story through your advertisement. Remember, out of the box ideas do work, but if the viewer has to use too much intellect to make sense of your ad, it will defeat the purpose. Story idea has to be new, unique, simple and concise. The ad story elevates the brand and product to the next level altogether. Decide which emotion will you use to strike the right chord with your target audience. Decide the advertisement appeal, humorous, emotional, factual. Script writing for television. Advertisements. Write your ad script in the following format. Serial number, visual, scene, audio, dialogue, monologue or voiceover. Sound effects, SFX. Fifth, storyboarding. After you have written your script, you will have a fair idea about the scenes and the audio, voiceover or dialogue. Then you can write about the detailed shots in the form of a storyboard. Storyboard is the organized form of illustration drawn in the tabular boxes that describe one shot in each box using text graphics, caricatures, etc. You will shoot the shots as given in the storyboard. Multiple shots will be joined together to make scenes and multiple scenes will be joined together to make a meaningful sequence during the editing of the ad. Sixth, create recall value with jingles and taglines. You may still remember the jingle of the Biko Turmeric ad that was popularized on radio and television. Biko Turmeric Nahi Cosmetic, Biko Turmeric Ayurvedic Cream. The tagline for Hero Honda Motorbike. Desh ki dharkan is very popular. Repetition of ad jingles and taglines will create the recall value of the product. Use your creativity in writing about the features of the product while tapping the emotional nerve of the people. Seventh, incorporate call to action in the script. Call to action is what you want the target audience to do after watching your ad. Buy the product or hire the service or visit your website or donate funds for a social cause. Eighth, revise the AIDA. Model of advertising work on every step of IDA model during script writing. First, attention. If the written script is televised, how will it catch the attention of the audience? What are the attention catching elements in the script? Use these eye catchers wisely. Too much of elements in one ad lead to visual clutter and deviates the attention of viewer from the product to something else. Second, interest. After catching the attention, what are the elements that will help in building and holding the interest of the viewers in the ad story? Here you may talk about the USP of the product, explaining its utility and features. Third, desire. After catching attention and building interest level, the product's benefits have to be presented aesthetically to turn them into the desire to buy the advertised product or hire the advertised service. Fourth, action. The attention, interest and desire should together accumulate into purchase action by the consumer and that is how writing for the advertisement would prove to be effective and profitable. 
role and responsibilities of television program writer. First, to prepare, edit and rework on scripts for different television program formats like drama, sitcom, news, film or advertisement. Second, to write for teasers that shows the upcoming content on television. Third, to write the storylines, sketch many characters, write the descriptive scenes and shots, build up new situations and write dialogues for characters. Fourth, to prepare interview schedules for interviews and box pops. Fifth, to understand the needs of the organization, sponsors and television audience and write scripts to meet the synchronized needs and aspirations. Conclusion in this module, we learnt about the basics of writing for television, the terminology used by creative writers in production houses as well as the roles and responsibilities of television program writers. We also gained knowledge about writing the scripts for different television programming formats like broadcast news, television drama and writing for advertisements. Hope this module helped you understand how to write for television. That is all that we had for you in this episode. Till the next time, it's a goodbye. Thank you.